Listen to this list. The Thomas Sowell Reader, 2011. Intellectuals and Race, 2013. A new edition of your classic work, Basic Economics, in 2014. Wealth, Poverty, and Politics, 2015. And now, 2018, Discrimination and Disparities. And do you know what I just did? I just listed the books you've published since turning 80. <laughs> Tom, you haven't had anything to prove to anybody for at least three decades. Mm. What keeps you at it? Why do you work so hard? Well, I I'm don't happy know. you do, you understand, but why do you? Well, I don't work nearly as hard because I, 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 dis, I discontinued the column. Uh, I, I did that after spending some time in, in Yosemite with a couple of uh, photo buddies. And I realized that in those four days, we hadn't watched a single news program. We hadn't seen a single newspaper. I said, this, this is the life. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't need to be watching. Because most of the foolish things that are said on these programs were said 20 and 30 and 40 years ago and refuted 20 and 30 and 40 years ago. By you, quite often. By me, but by many other people. I see this thing about uh, women get only X percent of what men get for doing the same job. And there are studies, including studies done by women who, who, have, who, who have the courage to do these studies, more so than men do, uh, uh, showing that, no, as, as you hold various things constant, this, this, whatever that percentage is begins to shrink and shrink, and in some cases reverse, that among uh, uh, academic uh, uh, men and women, in the study that I did 40 years ago now, uh, uh, if you took never married women in academia, they had a higher income than never married men. And the da data from not only from my studies, but a number of other studies show that the real difference is between women who are married and who become mothers and everybody else. That, uh, and, and men who, who get married uh, have higher incomes than men who have same education, age, and so forth, right. who don't get married. And women who get married uh, have lower than women who don't get married. And of course, this is because of the division of labor within the home. Right. And uh, uh, so, there are so many statistical uh, mess ups when they do these comparisons, I can't even get into them all. <laughs> but you're happier when you're not reading the news. Absolutely. But at the same time, you're also happier when you're working on a book. Yes, when I can go out there and get the hard data uh, and, and find out what's really happening. Got it, got it.